sometimes uh, you may be wondering, why am I not finding the one? Why can I not find my match? And I want a relationship. I want marriage. And I want to tell you that it's highly likely that there are one of two things that could be preventing you from being with the one. Um, there could be many different scenarios based on your situation, but usually it's two reasons, one of two reasons, or it could be both, why you're not finding the one. And these two things I'm going to break down in this video. Again, I am doing it podcast style because I noticed that some of these situations require people to just do nothing but listen um, without looking at me or um, being distracted by music. So sometimes I have to take the music off. I am also getting my um, area fixed where you can, um, where I can have a new setup. But in the meantime, I'm going to do these videos because I know they're hard to hear and uh, I want you to just listen with your heart. So the first reason would be your lack of femininity, if this is you. So this is, again, one of two reasons. And the first one would be your lack of femininity. Every woman is feminine at their core. There are things in life that can get you away from that. So if you've been in a point where you felt like you've had to struggle in life, a fight for survival. Some of those things can get you out your femininity because femininity is more of a being instead of doing. So if you're always feeling like you have to hustle, you have to get on your grind, you have to survive to make it through, you have to keep your head above water, you're more in an action state than a being, just living and breathing and being at peace. And um, a lot of people think that the clothes, the attire, the look makes you feminine. There are many women who look and appear feminine and womanly on the outside, but their characteristics are not ladylike. Um, they do not have emotional intelligence, which is emotional maturity. They're not mature with their emotions. They don't have self-discipline, self-control with their emotions. Okay, There are women who are not kind and generous and loving and their presence is not something where you want to be around. You're trying to be far from it. They may be vindictive, conniving, or, um, the term, um, they may be just bad vibes. They don't have this, uh, presence about them that makes you want to be around them or draw people to them. They draw people away from them. They push people away. So you, want to be feminine and feminine is someone who is generous, kind, loving, peaceful, which means everything you say and do, you're going to try to say it with love, which means that whole, I am telling it how it is. You can tell it how it is. You can be, keep it 100, but keep it intact. You can be loving with it. Imagine your manager telling you how he feels or how she feels in a rude and disrespectful way. You would be like, you can come better, you know, you can come correct. So there, so that's the term I'm going to use. You need to come correct. So when you want to tell people how you feel, do it in a correct manner. Do it with tact. Do it without all of the emotions in the way. If you are a peaceful person, which means you're not messy, you are not instigating, you're not creating problems and troubles um, just because you want to see stuff being started, okay? If you are a good-hearted person, you're not selfish, you are generous, you, um, and again, if I said self-control is more than just your emotional maturity, it is also, you're not full of lust, you don't just think what you're heart and head alone, but you use your intuition because that's something that women who um, are feminine have that. And more importantly, more, and I can do another video on how to um, listen to your intuition, which I also like to say, if you're a Christian, you want to listen to your, um, the Holy Spirit. All right. So, but all those things are pretty much, you know, your intuition and things like that is something more of a feeling, um, a gut feeling. And um, sometimes it's it's a lot more into it. So the other thing would be uh, to make sure that 
you are someone who is not just going off of lust and the outward appearance. You see the inner beauty in people and you also want to have the inner beauty in you. So when people say you're beautiful on the inside out, that's what they mean. They want to, you want to not just be on the outside beautiful, but your spirit, everything about you um, makes, draw people towards you, men and women. Um, You want people to want to be around you. So this isn't just for a romantic relationship to be this way. But a lot of times men are saying women are not cooperative. They're disagreeable. They're not loving. They are, uh, they're not approachable. Um, That resting bee face. So you have this look like you don't want to be bothered, but you say you want a man. So you, the, your outward appearance is going to be indicative of what you're feeling in your heart or what you're thinking in your mind. So if you think on things that are good thoughts, naturally, you're going to have this smile on your face about you. You're going to look pleasant. That's the word. So a lot of people don't like when I say approachable. So just think pleasant. You are going to be pleasant. Um, it is hard sometimes for women to be feminine. Um, because as I said, the environment, which you're in, you're struggling, you're dealing with struggle, love, you are doing so much, but being feminine is the number one reason why women have trouble being in relationships. Because if you are trying to be with a masculine or traditional man, he's going to want to already meet his match. You can't say once you get with that man, then you will transition. You need to already be walking in it. You need to already do it because then it'll become secondhand nature. So again, men today are saying women are not feminine. Women are not allowing the man to lead because they're so busy leading. If you don't trust this man and the decisions that he makes, like if you haven't, there's two types of women that don't trust men. If you don't really know him and you're not trusting him, it's because of your past situations that you've never seen people that you can trust um, to lead or be the man that that you think they should be, or you've been hurt in the past by men who weren't doing what they're supposed to do. And that may not even be the case. You may thought, you may have thought that that man wasn't doing what he's supposed to do because he didn't do what you wanted, but maybe you weren't a match. A lot of times it's people put it all on one person, but you may not know the whole situation. You're only seeing it from your side. Um, but you may not have been the one I have learned many times that is not always men that don't know what they want. They know what they want, but for some pe- some reason, men stay with women and knowing they're not the one. So men, this goes into number two, because men have this issue, at least I think. Staying in relationships, so this is number two. If it's not femininity for you, number two, it's staying in a relationship longer than you should. Men sometimes can stay with women and never get married. And the reason why is mostly because you're not the one for that man. You are not the one. My mom have told me a long time ago, there will be men that say they don't want to get married. They don't want a relationship with what they are really saying. They just don't want it with you. They don't see it with you. They may have tried to push it because you're good people, but they don't see you as their wife. And a lot of times you think the man is playing games, but no, he's just staying with you, but he don't see you as his wife. And sometimes you're staying with men. So a lot of times women are mad at men, but women stay with men Knowing he's not the one, knowing he he mistreats her, knowing all he wants is something casual and she wants something real. Women stay with men knowing he is using her for money, for, um, you know, for tr- because she treats him like a um, she treats him like a man. She, he's getting benefits somehow um, for whatever kind of benefits it is, a place to stay, cooking washing clothes, doing things, giving money or intimate favors. So if you stay in a relationship longer than you should, you won't find the one that you're supposed to be with. I don't believe that there is the one, like only one person that you'll ever be with, but you won't find your, you, and I, when I say find, I don't mean you're out looking, but you won't be available for your husband. If men are in relationships with women, they really don't want to be in, they won't find their wife because they're so busy in a relationship. You won't find the husband that you were supposed to be with because you're entertaining someone that you should not be with. A lot of times people push and force a situation to force someone to be the one, but that's just not it. 
you cannot force people to be the one if they're not the one. It is what it is. Um, there has to, there's a lot goes on to, for someone to be the one. It really is. But, um, a, a lot of ways you can find out if they're the one is vetting. So a lot of times you're staying with the person that you're not supposed to be with is because you have vetting issues. And that's for men and women. I know it's for men because men are on these dark web channels, um, because, of they can't find women who are feminine which all those things I said, who's peaceful, who uh, is cooperative, who's loving um, in the way they, and and appreciative and kind and all of those things, soft, um, sweet. They can't find women like that because they have vetting issues. When you are on date number one or two or three, you know, if people are meeting some expectation, a lot of times you're not, you you won't. But I hear people talk about this hindsight 2020. And a lot of times it's not hindsight. That red flag was right there. You just overlooked it on purpose because you figured, well, it's so minute. But then over time you get tired of it. You knew that this person did not have the things that they needed to have. They, or the things that you wanted. You knew either they had wandering eyes from the beginning, you knew whatever it was, but you still decided to be with that person. So it's not hindsight 2020. So all I'm saying is femininity is usually the number one reason, but the other reason would be you're staying in a relationship longer than you should. And all of that boils down is to a vetting issue. You don't know how to deal with red flags um, or red flags doesn't mean that you don't necessarily need to be with that person. It means you need to talk it out. And if they, if it's still not working out, there's no action behind it, then you should not be with them. But it is important to make sure that you are with um, someone who's going to meet your standards. You want someone who's attractive. Yes, those can be your preferences, but your standards are something that's fundamental. So you want someone who is aligned with you. Your thoughts and views are aligned together. So stop being in relationships longer than you should be in relationships um, with someone. And then you're more likely to find the person that's for you because you're open and available instead of stuck in something that you should not be in. So I truly hope that you all, if you're listening, if you have femininity issues, you work on that. If you have issues regarding staying in relationships longer than you should or vetting, then you work on those things. I do have vetting videos for different stages in dating. So you can go to um, watch those videos on how to vet. Um, Again, uh, one last thing, I'll say this and then I'll go so you can make sure what the man who may look like the one should look and actually, I meant what this man would look like. If he's the one, what would he look like? And this is a man who leads. Everything he says and does is within love. That's L. E. He elevates you. A. He aspires for greatness. He's not complacent, um, set on being mediocre, okay? D. He's dedicated to the things and the people who he says he loves. Doesn't mean he may have all the time in the world, but the time he does have, the quality time, he's going to be dedicated to you. And he serves his community and others through his gifts, talents, skills, and expertise. He's not going to be making babies anywhere because he's going to protect his legacy and who he has babies with. This is a man who understands that marriage equals wealth. It equals something um, important and greater than him. So look for these types of things because these are some of the qualities that you want to have in a man, a man of good character. Yes, you want him to look good, but he can't just be a man with financial means. He has to have some other quality. All right. So that is all I have for you. Thanks for tuning in to Danielle DeVita. Take care. Mm -hmm.